In JavaScript, maps and objects are two similar data structures, but with different use cases. Let us discuss the difference between both and which one to use when. In JavaScript, it is very common to use objects when we have to map keys to certain values. For example, have a look at this code. const obj equals to an object and some underscore key assigned to a value. So in this, we have created a simple object and that object is assigned to variable obj. And inside that object, we have a key that is named as some underscore key and it has been assigned a value string the value of which is uh, a string value. Now, maps in JavaScript are instances of objects, but they are also much more than that. Let us first see how we can create a map. Have a look at this example. const map equals to new map. map one dot set a one map one dot set b two map one dot set c three. Wow, this looks very clean. Now let us understand what is happening. So. In order to create a map, you have to initiate a variable uh, with new map and then inside that variable, you can perform a set operation. So set uh, comes as an inbuilt function to map and inside that you can pass the key and value as the arguments. So if you look at the code uh, map one dot set a here, we have passed a as a key, the value of which is one. Now let us uh, have a look at another example. Console.log map one dot get a and the expected output is one. This is amazing, right? So the a in the previous example was a key and the value was one. So when you do map one dot get, so get is a get operation performed on maps, you get the value of that particular key. So what makes maps special? Well, if you want to perform logical operations over data, and it gets quite complex in case of objects. But with map, it becomes way too easy with these functions. Have a look at these utility functions. Once map equals to new map one, map one dot size returns the number of key value pairs in map object. Map one dot clear removes all key value pairs from the map object. Map one dot delete returns true if an element in the map object existed and has been removed or false if the element does not exist. Map one not has returns a boolean indicating whether a value has been associated with the parse key in map object or not. Map one dot for each calls callback function once for each key value pair present in the map object in insertion order. If this argument parameter is provided for all each, it will be used as this value for each callback. With all of these utility functions, it gets very easier to handle the data structure inside a map as compared to just a simple object. You can use object only if you want to store the data and not perform any sort of operation. On the other hand, if you want to perform logical operations, then maps are the suitable options.